The Chicago World's Fair was a six-month-long fair that presented many U.S. inventions, ideas, and historical figures to the rest of the world. It lasted from May 1st, 1893 to October 30th, 1893. The fair was planned during the early 1800s. The fair was the first ever successful American World's Fair. The first American attempt at a World Fair was in Philadelphia in 1876, which drew many crowds, but it turned out to be a financial failure. Here's a picture of it. The Chicago World's Fair was designed by John Wellborn Root, Daniel Burham, Frederick Law Olmsted, and Charles B. Atwood. Daniel H. Burnham was selected as Director of Works, and George R. Davis was selected as Director General. J.P. Morgan, Cornelius Vanderbilt, and William Waldorf pledged $15 million to fund the fair if Congress awarded the fair to New York. The expedition covered 600 acres and over 2 million people attended. The fair also showed the world that Chicago had risen from the ashes of the Great Chicago Fire in 1871, which destroyed most of the city. H.H. H. Holmes was the first serial killer and also a con artist. H.H. H. Holmes secretly murdered hundreds of people at the fair and sold most of their bodies to medical school for profit. Holmes had what was quote unquote a murder castle, which had no windows and very little exits. And Holmes would gas people inside of this quote unquote murder castle, and which is how he killed hundreds of people during the Chicago World's Fair. He attracted many people by claiming the murder castle was a hotel and by saying that there was employment. To conclude, the Chicago World's Fair showed many new inventions, like the world's first Ferris wheel and remodels of Columbus's ships. Thanks for watching!